Okay, first, uh, what's your take on Jobs, the movie, and why is it far from the truth, according to you? Yeah, I hope the latest Jobs movie would really bring out what was inside of Steve Jobs? What was his personality really like? What kind of discussions did he have with other people? And what were the reasons for his decisions, his reasons for excluding people? And I thought that the movie was very weak on bringing out the things that you love and hate about Steve Jobs and really pinpointing where did he come up with the brilliance that we thank him for the wonderful changes in our lives and where did they really come from? You know, moving away from Jobs, the movie, uh, what do you attribute Samsung's recent success to? And do you think the Apple era is somewhat coming to an end. You know, I bought a lot of products of other companies because I'm a gadget guy. I like to explore. I like to play with them. Sure. I like to compare with them. Then I know it's real when I say this is good or that's bad. I know it's real to me and my own feelings. And when I got the Samsung Galaxy S3 phone and the Galaxy Note, these products were really good because I had lots of things I could show my friends that were actually outstanding and good and useful about them. And I'm scratching my head because I'm an iPhone person. Um, so Samsung, you know, has an awful lot of prowess and understanding of what it takes to make good products. Yes, Apple led the way and they followed in our footsteps. They even copied some details of it. But um, it's, it's kind of like one company can't be the only great thinker in the world about products. Um, as far as people talking about Apple now, like, is it going down? Is it really going out of the... You know, Apple, you can't hit on these great new advances, new entire product categories that didn't exist before. Things that people couldn't have thought of working in those ways, wouldn't have predicted, would have predicted a little incremental improvement over what was there before, not a huge different change in direction. I am so thankful that Apple isn't putting out a horde of lousy products just to say we have something new, we have something new, we have something new. That's very much in the Apple culture. Wait until things are that excellent, work on them that hard, that they're so perfect, no other company in the world can make them that good. To watch more, subscribe to youtube.com slash ETNowLight.